already talked about it a little bit, as you can see, the top is on the screen there. Uh, for anyone that has previously tuned in. Uh, but that's all right. We're going to keep going. We got a few other things that we can go to. Uh, it's currently 7.30, and our plan is to go until 8.10. So we got another 40 minutes of discussion uh, to go into, unless something crazy happens, and we're going to keep going longer. Uh, ah, if you've been enjoying the stream, please leave us a follow. We do this once a week, every Saturday. Uh, I'll give you a little. I'll give you a little sneak peek of what I got planned for next Saturday. Uh, if, if everything works out, we may have a few people to interview on the stream. If oh, everything works snap. out properly. I'm not going to say who yeah. those names are because nothing's confirmed yet, but it might happen. A few <laughs> folk, com big names in the folk community. Um, Pulling yeah, so out all the stops. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try to do. So, uh, we've already talked about... Hero Kits, we went over a few of the Hero Kits that have been officially released on the Twitter Strange Matter Discord. We talked about Raptors and Fangtooth. We haven't talked about Melee Carries, and we probably won't at this rate. Uh, we talked about Top Down versus Third Person. We talked about Jungle Layout, and Jungle Layout went into Jungle Rotations, uh, jungle, jungle Pathing, and uh, Parallel Jungle. Is this an idea, or is it bust? Uh, and then we talked a tiny bit about Farming Tactics. And Chandler started to transition in there to Prime Buff Changing, which uh, was pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, guys, just give me... Hey, Reverb. Hey. Reverb. Hang on. Steven Chandler, say something. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, what do you mean just say something doesn't matter just... <laughs> hey uh, stranger got a new mic courtesy of Canada Post in these trying times Well, I yeah I got a blue Yeti X right? now uh, so I got that real nice mic uh, and I also got a new monitor and it holds up to 240 hertz and I got a new keyboard. I got the Razer Huntsman Elite Tournament Edition. And, uh... Styling. Gonna be, <laughs> uh... Gonna be, uh... Yeah, I tried, I tried to do the 240 hertz. Um... And I was playing Overwatch... So for anyone that so guys for anyone that doesn't know I've never played above 60 FPS ever in my life until yesterday and I so I so I turned up my Overwatch and fixed my settings and I ended up playing I couldn't reach 240 cuz I just don't have the GPU to do that uh but I was reaching 200 around 180 200 and I'm telling you when I say I literally just moving my mouse to where I was aiming felt smooth like smoother like it didn't feel as choppy like my shot immediately was better and i only played for like an hour like i, I was i was mind blown by how much of a difference it makes with higher fps sounded like one of them pc master race boys now reverb uh, i would actually love your help uh could we, just sometime after the stream so Hmm. Guys, we just have a list of ideas. So I just I'm just kinda go rolling through them there right fast, seeing what uh. Ooh. So there's there's two things I would actually love uh to discuss. We kind of mentioned one earlier, and then this one's kind of uh, left field a bit. This is a different one. So one thing I think is really cool, and uh, Sock Cap himself actually, uh, for anyone that knows, was the one that made this argument uh, earlier today. Um, essentially, should yeah, should everything be open for decision? And what I mean by that, should there always be, 
should everything be should everything have like a thousand different decisions kind of thing or two or three it doesn't really matter or should there be some limiters uh in a moba and so what sawcap was trying to argue uh and i wanted to bring it up with stream see what people say is sawcap was arguing that Yes, people need free choice. You know what I mean? Just so the game doesn't get stale and stuff. But there are opportunities in MOBAs in particular where some stuff you should have kind of like a restriction to so that people can get more creative. Does that make any sense? Yeah. yeah. So sometimes when you're given a restriction... Uh, that's when people. That's when people's creativity really comes to fruition, and uh, so he was just arguing that he thinks that yes, everything should be for the majority. Uh, should be. Um, lots of different ideas, but there should be some restrictions. To, uh, to actually incentivize creativity. So, what would be an example of that? Uh, that would be a really big thing. So a restriction as something as mm, kind of caught me off guard with that one. I should have wrote it down. This was hours ago. Uh, so yeah. So uh, a really good way to do that would be that I want. Uh, it could be something as simple as. Yeah, like it could be just as Reaver said, something that you can only have one jungle per team. You know what I mean? Because and uh, because that gives you that restriction of uh, you have to use jungle, but it, there's nothing that says you can't be creative within that. If that makes any sense, or or if something, but I think he was talking more in game, like in game stuff. Because starting to get kind of like into the in depth stuff, Reverb there, and we're talking about like jungle pathing uh, was where this. Uh, restriction idea came from actually was we were talking a lot about jungle pathing <sighs> yeah or one scrying stone per team and uh yeah so i would love i would what if it could be something as simple as like it could be that a buff spawns at a certain time you know what i mean like you know at a minute 30 seconds that buff's going to spawn so you can get creative because of that restriction if that makes any sense or it could yeah. be something as um what when you get to the well, high level again play, whenever you have a restriction people or it could be something more in depth like this like as i was saying earlier I, if you're playing kai you have to go for an early gank because you have to get ahead because you fall off later in the game if you're not if you're not taking the time to take that early gank you're just uh, you're just not playing Kai to his full potential, you know what I mean? So yeah. that you can that is something you like kind of have to do in a sense. Like you don't have to, but like at the top level, it's gonna feel like you have to do that. You know what I mean? But that's where the creativity comes in because if the enemy team knows you have to gank, uh, now the creativity has to come in because you have to. Where are you gonna gank? How are you gonna gank? You know what I mean? So on and so forth. In between 60s, between a certain amount of time, when when exactly are they going to gank? And that's where the creativity really comes in. Does that make any sense? You can't enforce something like that? The game needs to have fluidity to let the players evolve. The game and the meta. The meta is... In our internal games without a patch. You can force something like that. It's up to the players. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. And the last thing, no one wants to see a triple ADC meta or a tank meta. They're that kind of stuff is never fun. Uh so that's why there is limits like that stuff. So could you imagine like could you imagine? Um, and it did happen. It did happen in Monolith for a bit, where it was all about. It, there was a tank meta, where you just everyone ran a tank, besides like the ADC, of course. And this, but everyone was everyone was beefier because that was 
that was just the meta and it's just not as, it's just not as fun just about figuring the game out Shima hmm. Chandler what do you guys think while I'm just thinking I mean that's one of the biggest things like because I played Overwatch when it launched and then like I still play Overwatch in there now like one of the things that I always was very happy about was once they implemented that system when you're uh, in matchmaking and you decide right away if you want to be a tank or support or anything like that and just like going into games no matter what you know for sure your team has two tanks mm -hmm. I don't know it, it just always made it more enjoyable for me yeah and Reverb just made a good point. Like another thing, especially when it comes to this creativity thing, is people are going to get better as they play the game more. So like in Paragon, since it's going into season zero or faults going into season zero, I just said Paragon. <laughs> Paragon's dead. Uh, season zero of fault is going like the majority of people are going to be newbie. But then once we go into season one of fault, the competition is going to slightly get better and so on and so forth. And that's why. So when and then if you can ever make it to the 10 year mark like League of Legends has, the level of competition is going to be a lot higher than it will be at season zero. And because of that, the meta is going to naturally change over time. And the, and in a sense, a meta is a restriction. You know what I mean? Because like if yeah. you're not if you're not doing meta things. Uh, not saying it's a bad idea, but it it most likely is in that patch or that way or the current way people play or whatever it may be. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah Overwatch players on launch and Overwatch players now are not the same uh, breed of players. That's for sure. Well, I mean, you can say that just as easily about Fortnite. Like, if you go back and see those original games, like, everyone thought building was just foolish and just something that you could do because it was in the other game mode. But now, like, if you do not know how to build, you're pretty well useless in any type of competitive format. But that's with anything. Like, there's just these niche things that maybe you don't take seriously at first that, like, mm -hmm. with other restrictions or whatever and just balancing through the time, yeah. It just becomes a staple and something that you need. Yeah. And Reverb made a good point. Like, uh, if you took a season zero gold player and took a season 10 gold player, there's a big difference in their skill level. You know what I mean? And there will be a big difference. Um, yeah. So th there, there will just be a big difference. And my biggest uh, example that I can give is uh with rocket league like in season one of rocket league no one even knew how to do a flip reset but at the pro but if you if you're diamond level or higher not even grand champ level in rocket league and you don't and like you probably know how to do a flip reset but what's really separating the grand champ level and a diamond level you know what i mean that's like separating a silver player and a plat player like that's how big of a difference it is it's actually a bigger difference than that yeah, that, that's kind of the big thing to where in Season 1, not even Grand Champs were doing flip resets. And for anyone that doesn't know what a flip reset is, it's just imagine doing a 360 MLG no-scope trick shot with a vehicle. <laughs> that's literally what a flip reset is. And they do that at the pro level in Rocket League. And they do the end below the pro level. It's actually crazy. It's actually the most mechanical thing you would ever do in your entire life. And it'll take you 200 hours before you can ever do it. A practice. Let's say Morgus gets pooped on in lane by Greystone or something. And then... And that team wins... Uh, that team's win condition was dumpstering other lanes with the roaming mid Morgus. But because she gets shut, shut down, the win condition just changed entirely. Oh, that, that actually makes a big sense, Reverb. Mmm... Oh, it, oh, itchy. Ah, 
I don't know. I don't know. And you know what's crazy? Most of the pros in Rocket League are people that played back when it was called. See, what was Rocket League called before? It was called Rocket uh, League. Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Power Battle Cars. <laughs> Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Battle. Rocket Powered Rocket Battle. Powered Battle Cars. And it was on the PS3. PS3. It wasn't even on PC at the time. That shit was fire, bro. <laughs> Way back. So you think new <laughs> characters are really going to bring that much of a meta change reverb? So every time a new character comes out, the meta is going to kind of do a 180. Please, God, no, not again. <laughs> I hate that yeah, shit. Yeah, but that, it, that happens. Like, it's going to change. You know what I mean? And, it, like, yeah, they do got to get the formula down for the game. Remember, yes, yeah, we were talking yesterday because you were in that alpha chat for a bit, too. And uh, and they were saying that that's what they're doing now. They're working on, they're making the game, they're working on the game stability to make it fun and playable. And then once they get that down, then they're going to work on adding more minor mechanics to add the depth and flavor to the game, which I think is perfect. You know what I mean? It's not like we're, or we're not even into season zero yet, guys. Like we got, we got a long way to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. The thing is, uh, you don't want a cake with real good icing, but the, uh, the, the cake itself is bland. It's all yes. well and good if it looks good, but if it isn't, if there's no substance to it, yeah. what's the point? I mean, like how are you supposed to build a house with no foundation? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't start... The foundation always looks the same. It's the designing in the house after that comes out. I like the cake out. analogy better. I'm really yeah, hungry. Yeah, but I fucking hate cake. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I didn't know, know you hated that. democracy too, Greg. Jesus. You know what? What the fuck? Cake is gross. Period. You're, you're fucking gross. <laughs> you don't have to like what? me, but I do not what? like great cake. Cake is nasty. Bro. See? I reverb agrees. Every day and you life. know what the difference between me and reverb is? And you and you and Steve? We're built different. And you know what I mean? We're just better at both <laughs> than you two. Yeah. That's the difference. We're built different. Yeah. You hear me, Steve? Built different. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, uh, we got we got way sidetracked. kind of show we run will here. steel shield buff you with a shield like in legacy again no i don't think so not at the moment unless they change it oof you know what <laughs> meet me on the ah, phone line, dude. see who your real line. friends are yeah see all see, i did was who like cake broke. all got each other's back like people who hate cake lawless <sighs> chaotic neutral <laughs> wow <laughs> these are your men I'm just saying ain't no one hitting a Decker stun the way I'm hitting a Decker stun I could do better than you no you couldn't no, <laughs> no you couldn't <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't wait till we actually, like, can do shit like that. What? It'd be nice just to have, like, custom matches and whatnot where, like, you can guarantee, like, all ten players, like, you know, and, like, you can set up lobbies and whatnot. Yeah. I'm really excited for private matches to happen one day in fall. Yeah. Oh, just stream private matches would be so much fun. Yeah. I would just love to be able to go through the map, too, and just be like, wait. Private yeah, I can, I can imagine you can do it in probably like the testing state. I'm just, I just hope full release you can still do ah. it. Or access and whatever. It's a console command. What's a console command? Uh, it's a command uh, you give to the console. It should be in the UI at some point. Yo, they've yeah. been gassing the UI a lot recently. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. And uh, it's it's gonna look good. I want servers to be set up in a way if the game gets a server update or God forbid shuts down, you can still play it. <laughs> like you want it to be peer to peer. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, Call of Duty Two still has servers. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, like if if you want a server that when it gets taken down to get updated, you can still play on the server, but the server's down because it's getting fixed. It will have scheduled yeah, maintenance. Call, but it keeps the gameplay like a test. Oh, so like just a, updates in the background or something, or, or like a, a build that doesn't have the update. Like you, yeah, connect yeah. Well, like, to like a separate server, have two different builds. Uh, whoa. Four a.m. This is Corona time reverb. I'll be awake then. <laughs> so we'll have the world. <laughs> we'll still be gaming, dude. Like, I'll, like. Canola uh, virus gets us playing at all hours of the day, all right? Yeah. We'll Car- always be inconvenienced. Corona time I've, has changed the way I've thought about uh, schedules. Time is a construct invented by the Jedi. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It does have to happen. It just has to go down every once in a while. I mean, Call of Duty yeah. never goes down. And they have updates almost every day. Well, I mean, they just turn off the simulation, so you never actually think that the server's down. What? Call of Duty does not go down, I'm telling you. That once that game is Maybe released... Maybe their tweaks are just that small, you never notice it. They never... That servers never go down. Sometimes they make you restart the game, but they never go down. The game's never shut off for like an hour or two. You sound pretty confident about this. Is this like in the, unequivocal in, proof, or like <laughs> this is like in all the time I've ever played Call of Duty, that's never happened. Because I'm about like, to do some Google searching. Do it. I'm about to call up Google. I call my friend, Mr. Google himself. Oh, Hello, boy. Google. I got a simp here. Console games are different. Yo, you just murdered that bear. Yeah, it's because Boris sucks. Like, do you see this? Like, do you see how newbie I am? Okay, look. Actually, well, this is up. I'm going to do something. I made this the other day. And this is essentially how I feel day one of Fault versus day 30. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, that was extremely off topic. Yeah, that that's what I feel like it's going to be like for 98% of the population of Fault. Day one, we're going to get pooped on by everyone that calls themselves a tester. But day 30... Wait, don't you only have 48 hours? Yes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <Calls themselves, laughs> themselves a, a tester. It isn't because they actually are testers. <laughs> <laughs> It's extremely hard judging Itchy. How much health people have. But that's okay. (laughs) So guys, I guess this is a good time to ask. I usually never do this, but I'll do this. Now, while people are in here, what would be something people would love to talk about and we'll we'll make it happen next week? Greg, you know for sure you're going to see a top. You know, oh, I want to talk about that now. Yeah, probably. In early Monolith, every three bars of health totaled up to 1,200 health. Oh. I actually didn't know that, so. Wow.
What do you think the implementation of old old heroes will be? You guys want to talk about it? Let's just do it now. <laughs> it's gonna be Hauser, Gadget, Kalari, Phase, Rampage. Uh Decker. Decker. Uh, look at the bottom left for the rough concept art. Oh, you mean like the bottom left of the current video on stream? Yeah, so Decker, uh, <laughs> Steven Chandler, what, know the link. Beaver, if, I, if you tried to put a link in the chat, I don't think it, it showed up. You might have to put it in the, uh, the Faltarian. Oh, Greg, do you have your sentence where people can't put links in the chat? Yeah, I think so. Fucking whack, bruh. Okay. Uh, he put it in the chat. He put it in the Discord. Go. Oh, like, oh, the rough concept art. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, but I see what you're talking about. That, that'd be pretty cool. Thank you for the follow, BX Knuckle. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And uh, we're here to talk about anything and everything. If you have something you want us to talk about, let us know. And we'll do it. So this right here, guys. He's always talking about. You're going to be able to see your health. I think that's a really, really big thing. Yeah. Now, he can't confirm or deny it or anything like that, but... Uh, but something along those lines. Yeah, something like that is probably going to happen. Okay. So... Oh, it's not your health. It's going to be the health of other... Of neutral... Yeah, it's... it's Like, if you're mm. whoever you're aiming at. Ah! Yeah. That'd be really cool, actually. That'd be really cool. Yeah, because you don't want to muddy it up and like put it actually in front of the character. Mm -hmm. It's just no good if it's if it's in an area like that where it's kind of the side. So it should have champion specific HP. Yeah, that would actually be awesome. Because then I can get full nerd and know I can one shot him with my Bellica ult or something. That'll help with, like, uh, last hit. And... Sometimes I'd have to try it before if I hate it or dislike it. See, like, something, yeah. When you target something, it has an orange outline. That's actually cool. That's really cool. I'm so excited to see what they are doing with the maps, guys. Uh, we're definitely going to have static minions. Jungle minions. That much. That much is... For sure. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, we're definitely going to have static minions. What else are we going to see from the jungle, you think? Big raptors, maybe? An elder raptor? That gives a perma buff, like League of Legends? <laughs> Come on, tell me that isn't, like, the coolest idea I've ever heard. Like, no one likes Gold Fury. Like, come on. Hmm. It might. Oh, I wouldn't be able to tell you that, Ichi, if it does. I know in Smite, though, when you kill Gold Fury, it respawns as, like, a stronger Gold Fury. That does a bit more. Technically seven. Sweet goodness. But yes, three. Yeah, it has a uh, Baron Dragon and that guy that destroys your towers, whatever his name is. Rift Herald. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I would love to see... Oh, so what if Fangtooth is... What if Fangtooth is going to be the Rift Herald? 
of fault. Meaning for the first 18 minutes, there's something in the orb pride pit. Yeah, they give different permanent buffs, and then there's Elder Dragons that happen after that. <sighs> oh, so that's what happens. So, Gold Fury is the, is the one. So, you kill Gold Fury, it respawns as Primal Fury, which gives you a perma buff. And then after you kill that, and each time it respawns is bigger. And I know in... Like the fire giant after 30 minutes to smite becomes the enhanced fire giant, which is just a beefier fire giant that gives you a bigger buff. Now we're on to the jungle boss. I think that would be a really good idea. What do you guys think? Would you like to see Fangtooth as the Rift Herald of Vault? Do you guys know what Rift Herald is? Steve Chandler? Yeah, I mean... It's, uh... Just having more targets is nice. Like, I'm never going to be upset about that. Yeah. You don't think it has a place in full? Ooh, why not? Uh, while Reverb's typing, I'll just explain. Uh, Rift Herald is actually in the Baron pit, so Baron would be the equivalent of Orb Prime. Uh, before, or before Baron spawns in League of Legends, so when you kill Rift Herald, it actually runs down whatever lane you decide and helps you kill towers. It's like, it's not as strong as Dragon or Baron is, but it is a major buff. If that makes any sense. They have it in Overprime? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. They do have it in Overprime, and it is foolish, to say the least. It is foolish. Like, yeah, what if it's like Pyromancer Reaper? Because then it's not running down the la map. Because Pyromancer is like a mini fire giant. Hmm. And it would spawn before orb. Yeah. There's like 98 different uh, buffs in Smite, though. Smite's kind of going crazy now. In 2020. <laughs> King of the Hill style objective. Like who can control the orm pit the biggest? I definitely feel like the more game modes, the better. Like longevity wise. Yeah. But there's a problem, you see, like... As, okay, I mean, as, again, something as simple as just regular three lane and, then, like, just having those two is going to be more successful than only having three lane. What if Fault decides to go down to 4v4? <laughs> um... I mean, that could very where well be another would mode support, on a smaller map. Where would the supports go? I don't know, it's 4v4. Do you need one? Yeah, but then, like, that's a chunk of the characters that just, if you play them, then your team is at a severe disadvantage. Hmm. And the more people you on the point I mean? reverb, the quicker it would cap? That might be a really cool idea. Look, I know yeah, it's a terrible four, idea. Four v four seems like a I know little... it's a terrible idea. I'm just throwing it out there. Like, would anyone play a four v four MOBA? I mean, I mean, Joust three v three was kind of cool, but like, no, it wasn't. Joust sucks. What? I mean, I don't hate it. I hate, Joust. but that's the thing. That that's what I kind of mean. Like, just having game modes allows people to decide what they more so enjoy playing. Like, I mean, obviously at the beginning you don't want too many because you don't want like just nobody playing one of the other maps because then you just get screwed over with uh, queue times. But What if there just was no jungle in 4 e 4 
Okay. Yeah. I like Arena. I'm, I'm a big fan. It of would Arena. it would definitely have to be yeah. It does sound rack whack reverb, but you never know. People thought ARAM was whack when it first came out too. Well, look at that. All random, it's all mid. Still whack. I was gonna say, <laughs> people thought battle royales were weird, and then all of a sudden now COD has a battle royale. So I mean, like, there's definitely game modes that at first it's kind of weird, but like if you just if you turn it into something bigger and you make it more. Hey, little tip, you you can cancel OP's missile attacks with stuns. I just learned something. I was going to say, where in the game does it tell you you can do that? That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, dude. Like, You know what? <laughs> Reaver's going to have to teach me. I have to be a successor. That's how it's going to be. Yo, Greg, why do you only show uh, Narbash gameplay? Um... Because they didn't play a MOBA for two fucking years, and you think I really under remembered anyone else? Yeah, but I, I, Chief, I, I had saw like... you play in games with other characters. I mean, not that good, but you were playing them. I'm a one trick pony. Just wait till Decker comes out. You haven't seen one trick yet. Two trick pony. <laughs> River. Yeah, you were you were playing Murdoch. I remember you playing no, Murdoch. No, I wasn't. I don't know what you're talking about. Like at the very <laughs> end of the stream, after like 23 Fuck hours off, went Steve. by. You... <laughs> Where you don't play a single shot? <laughs> I don't have Murdoch gameplay, guys. <laughs> he deleted that file. <laughs> I don't remember Murdoch. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, you did play for a whole day, so I don't know why you're so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, nah, that actually didn't happen, though. Wait. <laughs> nah, I did a 24-hour stream. Uh, so, I played out for three weekend, and it was my first time ever streaming, actually. And I just got my PC, and I decided, hey, let's play for 24 hours. Because, why not? How did Lisa feel about that, by the way? She supported me. Are you kidding me? She brought, she cooked me dinner and everything. What the fuck? Why do you... <laughs> How? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, just keep, keep yes, playing Yes, you, you can you can, can choose an icon if you know what they mean. Because no one did besides... No, no no one knew what the icons meant in the health three weekend, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, you could. It wasn't that simple. I knew what the jungle one was. I knew what the ADC <laughs> one was. That's it. What was it? Bow and arrow. Heart looking shit was a support. Yeah, ADC was easy. Like that, obviously, you just had to pop The up. jungle, was it the same ones from Paragon? Because the jungle was like the divine, tangly looking one. I remember that shit. Yeah. The creepy <laughs> warlock looking thing. The fuck does a warlock That's look like? That's what I'm lie? saying. Like, what are we playing? Destiny here. Off lane is a shield. It was pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, I probably would. You know, it may be simple for MOBA play. players, but I haven't played a MOBA in two years. Yeah, I was going to say, you kind of have to make a game for the masses. You can't expect it for the uh, people who actually know what they're doing. But I think that was part of the problem of why we have Paragon. Because, again, I mean, it was purely expected that you good. knew what it was. <laughs> they making a game for the... Remember that one quest we tried to do, Chandler? It was pretty much just a jump puzzle, and then... Which quest was it? Was it the Whisper or was it? Yeah, the... the Whisper of the fucking Worm, dude. Yeah, like... I did that. I got the. You did that? Yeah, I even did the hard mode of it. What the fuck? You know what's crazy? That wasn't the most difficult one. There was another gun in the game, and it was hard. And then the hard mode was insane. And the hard mode I've only ever completed once. I forget exactly uh... what it was. 
I'll show. I'll, sh- I'll send you gameplay later. It was crazy. Okay, I think I might know what you're talking about, but send it to me anyways. If you get a good topic to talk about. All right, hang on. I'm gonna bring this back now. We'll just say we're here at that three hour mark now, anyways. Are we? Yeah, we yeah. just kind of spitballed a little bit. We just kind of spitballed a little bit there yes. now, didn't we? I mean, Greg, if you want to stay up ch- chatting us. I was going to say, there's no reason why you can't continue. No, no, got, no, I uh, do this with you guys only. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This bro. is our thing. I got uh, I got work in the morning. I mean, you'll probably still be streaming later anyways, See, right? You Playing games. You make bagels. Yeah, but I got to get up at 630. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. <sighs> okay, guys. Uh... The last little bit was just, I well, I don't really know what that was. That wasn't really anything. Uh, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking to the chat and everything. Um, we do this once a week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, please leave a follow. And Stephen Chandler, just say your goodbyes, and we'll get it over. Fairly well, love. Yeah. There Another productive well. one. Got some lots to talk about. Definitely lots to talk about next time. Got some new ideas now, so that's... Oh, I, I nice tune in next. We do this every opinions. Saturday. And uh, we're looking into trying to get a few people to come on stream and talk with us next week. Yeah, we, we trying to we trying to ask the tough questions and the easy questions, too. Yeah. Anything. And the fun questions. Don't be afraid to be toxic, because I'll answer your question. Cause we we gonna be uh, like we gonna be toxic right back. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. We are gonna uh, get banned on Twitch, bro. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Uh, we're gonna end it there now. I hope everyone was enjoying it. Uh, I'll leave you guys with a song that I really like. Um, but besides that, <laughs> next Saturday we will be here again, same time. And I'll uh, I'll see you.